At Vermont's Middlebury College, libertarian Charles Murray was at the center of a protest that ended with him being shouted off the stage. He's the author of the controversial 1994 book, The Bell Curve, which was slammed by critics for promoting a theory of a link between intelligence and racial or ethnic identity. Now, Murray was on campus to talk about his more recent book, which is called Coming Apart, which focuses on the state of white America between 1960 and 2010. The protest is another example of the ugly and often physical confrontations that have been taking place in the debate over free speech. Jay Perini is a poet and a novelist. He's also an English professor at Middlebury College, and he joins us from Weybridge, Vermont. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for talking with us. Soledad, thanks for talking about this. Such an important subject. Yeah, you have said that you were horrified by what happened on your campus. Tell me why. I was horrified to see our students at Middlebury College behave like this. I've been teaching now for 41 years, I hate to admit it, and uh, I haven't seen anything like this before. So I realized something horrible is going on here. Um, students need to really think about and be taught what, what it means to um, understand free speech in an academic institution, to, what this is all about. But I do wonder, when we talk about free speech, um, often it's really framed around your ability to articulate opinions without government censorship, right? Or without the government uh, retaliating against you. And I guess for some people, if I can play devil's advocate for a moment, somebody might say, hmm. right, but you don't necessarily have a, a right to a stage at Middlebury. This is the way free discussion works within a university. I consider it the actual baseline for any academic inquiry, for an academic village, that we allow people of different viewpoints to speak. And uh, even though I don't approve of Murray, I 100% grant him, of course, his right to free speech. And so I always wonder, and I think we have the same issue in journalism, right? You know, if you give somebody a platform, no. To some degree, you're saying, like, we believe that your ideas are important and isn't even inherent in that kind of a challenge to navigate. Oh, oh it's a terrible challenge, and we're confronted with it every day of the week. There are speakers at, on this campus literally every day of the week throughout the academic year. And so they represent a wide variety of viewpoints political viewpoints, moral viewpoints, uh, lots of ethical questions are raised here every day. And um, I think, you know, it, it's perfectly responsible to have someone like Murray come and give a talk, even though it's a challenge to many people. And I think uh, one of the things we're teaching in an institution like this is how to listen, how to not respond violently. Now, you're, you're really, your question poses something very important here. Um, what, what do we do? I mean, there's a, really, it's a separate question here. Um, why were the students so upset about Murray that they would behave in this, uh, what I would, could say, barbarous way? I mean, we're living in extremely uncivil and difficult times. Uh, the, the national political discourse is loud, noisy, and bullying. I mean, we've got bullying from the Oval Office every day of the week. I think it's a very challenging time for people to say, take a deep breath, and I think we can be at a point in history where we say, okay, something happened here at Middlebury. Students shouted down a speaker they didn't agree with. Wait a minute, we must stop the shouting. We must never allow people not to have their say, but nor must we um, not protest. Right, but that's a tricky line, right? Because you're sort of saying, uh, and I think you highlight it uh, really well there, which is you should have a right to have someone speak, but also you have a right to protest, clearly, uh, and, and certainly not a violent protest, but clearly that, that sort of those two things kind of clashed, if you will, uh, on the Middlebury yes. campus. Yeah, I would have been very happy had I heard the students came into this hall, 200 of them, and when Mr. Murray began to speak, they simply quietly turned their backs on him. I would have been applauding, but um, shouting him down, pulling fire alarms, uh, people have to learn w what, what is possible within a democracy where we value free speech, and, in, and especially on a, a campus. We have the responsibility to be polite, to listen to a certain degree. We listen to a certain degree. I always wonder if we're ever going to uh, really 
take the time to listen to each other, even those positions that we really find distasteful. I'm not sure we can move forward as a society if we don't do that. Professor Jay Perini from Middlebury, thank you, sir. Nice to chat with you. Appreciate your time. We're really good to talk to you. Thank you. I love talking to you.